We're going to talk about seven different ways you can make your game feel better. This is going to cover everything from visual effects to camera movement. For each idea, we'll look at how it works, why you should use it, and the best way to add it to your game. To conclude, I'd love to show you my favorite way to add screen shapes to Unity. So first up is Impact Flash. Here, we're changing a sprite's color when they take damage. This split second flash provides the player with critical feedback during combat. Let's make this in Unity. In a new script, create a new iEnumerator function with these three parameters. Unity's coroutines are great for this, but every trick in this video can work in any engine. When we call this, store the original color in a variable before switching to the flash color. After waiting a short duration, we'll swap this back. Now you can make any sprite flash a color in your game. On to trick two. Most games have pretty static cameras. This is a shame since cameras have a huge influence on the play experience. So here's three ideas to make your camera feel even better. First of all, smoothing feels fantastic. I used to do this using the lerp function, but nowadays, if you're using Unity, Cinemachine is great for this. Second, we want our camera to feel dynamic and part of the world. So rather than having it lock onto the player, take a page from Luftrausers. This game moves to frame where the player is going, improving vision and emphasizing speed. Luftrausers camera is great in one other way. It frames the enemies. To create this yourself, shift the camera's position towards the enemies off screen. When done well, developers can make their camera feel alive and responsive to the player. We want every button press to feel important. But keep in mind your game's identity. The developers of Celeste made a conscious decision to keep their camera mostly static. This is a necessary trade-off in a game where precise movement is paramount. Before we move on, you need to know the best ways to integrate these ideas into your projects. The goal of Gamefill is to reinforce the core identity of our game. While tricks like screen shake and impact flashes will immediately make our game more fun, you need to use these tricks deliberately and strategically to craft a great experience. So look out for when you can use these tricks to provide information to the player or to emphasize a core mechanic. Now we're coming straight back in with the time freeze. Many action games stop time for a split second when damage is dealt. This lets us emphasize each individual hit. Again, coroutines are our friend. This time in Unity, we want to use the wait for seconds real time function, which allows our wait timer to continue even after we set the game speed to zero. Some say time freezing also gives the player a short duration to breathe during combat. Whether or not this is true is up for debate, but anything we can do to reinforce our core mechanic is great. Another quick trick is controller rumble. Obviously, this is pretty self-explanatory, but it just feels great. It's super immersive and it's one of the few ways we designers can communicate via the sense of touch. If overused, this one can feel a tad distracting, so save it for the best moments. This is generally super easy to implement in any engine. I've linked a great Unity tutorial below. So after four tricks focusing on programming, let's dive into visual and particle effects. Dust particles, blood splatter and explosions all allow the world to react to the player. I like to view these techniques as a complement to traditional art and can be used to build on your overall aesthetic. If like me, you're not a great artist, don't worry. Vlambeer, the creator of Luftrausers, used just two colored circles to create these great explosions. And in my own game, simple shapes paired with some clever post-processing made for awesome blood splatter. Consider making your effects directional or randomizing their look to add some more variation. If you want a random 2D rotation, just use this line of code. These two effects have a ton of creative potential, but there's one trick that raises these effects in the next level. That's level permanence. Satisfaction is closely linked with impact and the lasting effect our choices have. We humans love to feel power over our environment. So making every player choice have knock-on effects makes all actions feel more satisfying. Hotline Miami is a prime example of this. The long-lasting bloodstains and corpses reinforce the core gameplay of a top-down shooter. This doesn't just work for more violent games. Look to the destructible objects in Hollow Knight or the inherent satisfaction in any building game. Just like before, get creative here. Ask yourself, what core decisions is the player making? Then try and increase the impact these have on the game world. Next up, we've got Screen Shake, one of the best ways to juice up your game. You can drag and drop this script into any of your projects. Then with one line of code, shake your camera anytime in game. Let's make it. Step one is to once again create a private iEnumerator function. Let's also make a public function with the same parameters. Since the function returning iEnumerator needs to be called using start coroutine, you can use this second function to handle this constraint instead of repeating it throughout your game. Next, grab these two variables from our Cinemachine camera. We're going to be using polar noise to shape the camera. This will randomly move our camera around its target position. We can set the strength of the randomness, known as amplitude, weight, and then set it back to zero. If you want to go the extra mile, you can also fade your shake in and out. The script for this is over on GitHub alongside all the scripts from this video. But ultimately, even with these seven tricks, we've overlooked one of the best ways to make your game feel better. These are critical to great game feel. So if you want to up your sound design game, head over to my newsletter, unless you're making a platformer, then you click on this video.